And then there was four, and the fourth buck is not just your ordinary buck. In fact, that's a diamond. That's a guaranteed diamond whitetail buck right there. Look at that, 226 to 267. But that rack is a 260 plus all day long right there. Look at that buck. There's been a lot of speculation out there as far as the great one and if it's possible to get them the natural way or by only using certain formulas. Well, guess what? We're gonna be trying to get them the natural way and we're gonna be hunting every single day until we either get them or we don't. Now what our goal is gonna be is actually gonna be to take down 20 whitetail bucks that are over 200 plus score every single day. If we can reach that every single day, then I feel very confident that we could get a great one. All right, we just got eyes on our first 200 plus whitetail. Right there he is at about 250 yards. Let's see if we can't go for a shot on him. It's interesting because it's saying 685 yards, even though he's like 250. Yeah, about 240 actually. All right, so we'll try and go for a heart shot. It's a very interesting distance, but We'll just hold a little high and drop him right there. There's another borderline decent buck. I honestly don't know how we didn't get heart on that second shot, but the third shot definitely connected. So our goal is to take down the 200 plus bucks, but if we see any 180 plus bucks, we're also going to take those down as well. All right, here's our buck down right here. And it's gonna be a perfect heart shot actually, 227 and 220 yards. Very nice. And our second buck ran right through here. We actually got border rate medium, so I'm wondering if you either got an intestine hit or vertebrae shot. It's vertebrae. Would have been almost a gold, actually 193. But let's see our shot there was just a little bit too high, almost split the lungs and got spine, but a couple of follow-up shots definitely helped out there. Well, it's not a 200 plus, but it is a 180 plus. Alrighty, we just got as on our second 200 plus white tail. He's right out there at about 180. Now, I was actually about to take down one of these 180 plus bucks out here. In fact, we have three 180 plus bucks right out there. But then I saw this guy step out, and that is definitely going to be the one we're going for. Hold right on top of the heart, and didn't get the heart, but definitely got something good, because he's going down. And you know what I said about getting those 180 plus bucks, if we get a shot at him, we're going to take if I could hit the right button, that would be nice. Uh, there he goes there. I don't know if we're going to get a shot up. <laughs> we literally shot right through that opening there. Highly doubt we got him, but you never know. See, that's a perfect opportunity to get him there going through that opening. But you got to be in the right spot to be able to take that shot. And they were gone. Wait just a second. We have hunting pressure, so we might have gotten one of those bucks. And we're going to go over there and go check. I'm going to mark that spot, actually. Uh, we may have actually gotten both of those bucks. <laughs> what the heck did we just do? All right, so here's our 200 plus right here. And left lung shoulder at 180, 222. There we go. That's our second 200 plus white tail. All right, I mainly just want to know if we actually did in fact hit this buck. So even if we hit it, it would take it down. And that would make sense why we have plenty pressure. All right, we got tracks there. We do have blood here. It looks actually like a non-vital hit. That is a non-vital hit. Okay. So we got that buck. 
I mean, honestly, I'll take it. Nice little bonus for a 180 plus. But it does appear that we have level 2 hunting pressure here, so maybe we actually did get two of them. I can't quite figure that out. Nonetheless, we got one laying right here, and that's actually going to be an intestine spine shot. 218 yards, and that was a 189. So we did get ourselves a nice little bonus. 180 plus. And then there was three right there. Look at the size of that buck. He's about 290 yards. Actually, let's let him come a little bit closer here. Right there. So I'm thinking zero for 300 and hold right on the heart. Should be good. It was really good. I'm surprised he didn't actually drop, but definitely got a double lung shot because he didn't go 20 yards and piled right up. And I do believe he's the only big buck in there. There's a couple of small twos and a one trivial, but that was it. All right, here's our buck. That's actually a 230 plus, I believe. Uh, maybe not. Either way, look at where he went down. Right in between those two boulders there. That's actually going to be a pretty cool picture. Okay, we'll go with that. And let's pick it up. So, left lung. I thought we got double lung, but we actually got left lung. He was only 280 out. And it's going to be a 218. And then there was four. And the fourth buck is not just your ordinary buck. In fact, that's a diamond. That's a guaranteed diamond whitetail buck right there. Look at that. 226 to 267. But that rack is a 260 plus all day long right there. Look at that buck. Now there's also something special I just saw over here and that is a big male black bear. He's actually a massive mythical. He was headed back this direction here. I do have his track and he actually does bed right over here by our tent. So I spotted him like right here. I wouldn't mind trying to get a shot on him. Look at this. A huge whitetail buck just showed up right here as well. That's another giant buck. But what we're looking for now is that huge mythical black bear. And since this buck is uh, about 300 yards out, I don't believe it would spook if we took down one of these bucks here. And also, I think that might be a 230 plus buck. All right, well, it's gonna be kind of a difficult shot, but we're gonna go for it. About 160, and I'm gonna try and catch the heart. And our big buck is right over there, so if we take one shot. Ooh, they're a little spookish. That was borderline a little bit too close. Let's let him calm down a little bit here. All right, so he is in fact calm. And we're gonna try and work our way a little bit closer to get a better angle for that shot. I do believe we got that buck. Yes, we did. We got hunting pressure, so that worked out pretty good. But this buck got a little too spookish. But there's a buck right in front of him that's partially blocking the vitals, so we gotta be careful of that. All right, that'll work. Smoked him. He's down. I was going to say, we may have dropped a little bit low, but 240, we're actually not going to have any drop. I'm just still completely blown away at the fact that four 200 plus whitetails and we found a level three, which should be guaranteed diamond whitetail buck. All it took was four bucks. I do believe this should be like a 236. It is a 237 and... Got a right lung shot there, a little bit high of the heart, but almost made a double lung split shot there at 170 yards. So that was our biggest buck up until this point. All right, here he lays right here. Let's take a look at this massive level three whitetail buck. It's gonna be a diamond at 260, left lung at 250 yards. 
So that rack there is pretty much a guaranteed 260 diamond rack every time you see it. Um, it could not quite make diamond depending on how much mass it has. If it doesn't have that much mass, then it might not make diamond because there's a rack very similar to this that just doesn't quite make it and it scores like 256, I think. And I believe you need 257 to be diamond. So yeah, there we have it. Four white tail over 200 plus and then this guy shows up. Take a look at that shot. So we did in fact hit almost right on the money there. It was quartering at us and we we're holding for heart. So that's pretty much right where we hit. Don't really want to hold too far forward because could have missed that heart. So I thought just go for center lung and went through that shoulder and got lung. Very nice. And a great, great white tail buck. Yeah, let's get him mounted for sure. 215 pounder. Holy, look at what just stepped out right here. I am completely blown away at this point. Uh, I, well, uh, yeah, that's the second dime potential whitetail that we have within another 20 minutes. So believe it or not, I saw this guy and I thought, oh, wow, that's a good buck. We're going to take him down. And then out of the corner of my eye, I saw this rack coming in and I thought, that's a diamond rack. And we spot it and it's a three. So that should be a 259 diamond white tail buck. With that estimate, I don't see why it wouldn't be. It's not very wide, but I can't really tell because it is kind of broadside. We need to get a front on view of it in order to tell fully how wide he really is. I mean, nonetheless, it's a freaking giant buck. So in this case here, we're going to take him first. He's only 130 yards out. And then there's some more white tail over here as well. Now this spot here is actually a rather new location. In fact, I'll show you where it's at in one second. It is kind of on the bottom end of the map over here by this lake where we were uh, a few days ago and we took down all those white tail down in here by Wabanaka Valley but it's this lake right here and the way that we entered it was from this tent that i just set up today usually i come in from here and i never can see where the deer are that's because they're on the back side here so if you get to this point you can't actually see around there you literally have to come in from the opposite side and that's what we did today and sure enough it paid off big time all right so because we're only 140 yards out i'm actually going to zero in for 82 and then we can swing. Yeah, just like that. Wow, was that perfect. When we swung, we were right on the center of the shoulder of that buck. Like, it couldn't have been much more perfect than that. What a nice turnout, and what? Another giant buck. And honestly, if this thing is a diamond, I don't even know what I'm going to say. But this is a huge buck here, too. Should be another 230 plus. 239. Wow. Left lung, liver, and stomach shot. But this is the giant. Oh, he looks so impressive from back here. It's going to be a gold, 248.9. Yeah, I was a little concerned that he might not be diamond. Still a giant buck. And another max weight, absolutely massive level three white tail buck. So even though it didn't make diamonds, it's still a very impressive white tail buck. And it does have the diamond rack, just a little bit small. And unfortunately, this one just isn't quite big enough. Nonetheless, another massive white tail buck is down. And until next time, we're going to continue on this hunt and we're going to try and get 20 max weight white tail bucks that score over 200 plus 
every single day. So that's going to be it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. And we'll see you next time.